So here we go for the second of the semi-finals, uh, the uh, World Championships here in Cairo, the Women's Individual Sabre Contest. And it is Anna Bashta who will lead us out. And her opponent, Despina Georgiadou from Greece, has had a great season. Could have had two Greeks in this. Uh, Theodora Guntura was knocked out by Bashta in the quarterfinals. And you can see their world ranks. Bashta. Well, I've got her down as world rank four. I'm not sure if the caption's right there. Uh, as world rank number one. She is world rank number one. I guarantee she's the number one she's in the world. One in, she's number one in the world. <laughs> that, no, um, that's wrong. Um, apologies yes. for that. Anna Bashter is number one in the world. Um, By quite some way as well. <laughs> and uh, Georgiadu is a number four in the world. Yes. So there's been some kind of uh, mix up there. A amazing season from the Greek fences, both uh, Georgiadou and Kuntura getting on the podium in the regular season. No surprise to see Georgiadou here. Don't think this is one-way traffic for the world number one, but she has been on form this season. This is the thing with Bashta this season. Uh, under the tutelage of uh, Shtababin, the ex-Ukrainian uh, coach, She's just making the right calls right from the very start of matches. And, you know, that is a phenomenal... It's, it's, yeah. it's Karlan-esque. So you're referring to Olga Karlan, the uh, great Ukrainian fencer. Just a little hesitation off the line. Superbrows always tell me it's not hesitation. They're looking; it's deliberate. Uh, but she makes the wrong decision in finishing her attack. So Georgia do off the mark. Now you can choose how quickly you come off the line, the number of steps you take. The main thing is to keep it varied. You don't want to be worked out by your opponent. I imagine this one will be a lot closer than the first semi-final. Georgia is doing great work in the mm. middle. Great work in the middle. Fancy if Georgia do well, George, Georgia. That's lovely, though. A great distance trap there. If Georgia, Georgia do in my mind has to get the lead going into the break. I think if Bashta has it, it's going to be a struggle. But that's a brilliant little uh, distance trap, stepping in, luring the attack, provoking the attack, and then stepping away. And now we get uh, a video appeal. Well, the last time they met. Um was back in uh, Orléans in 2019, and it was uh, Georgia Du that won that one. But Bashta has really only come on to form spectacularly this season. Have a look at this one, and it is changed. Oh. Good call from that. Well, it's in fact the coach there. It was um, Shtababin who made that call. Made miss and then picks up the blade on the attack. That's a lovely bit of fencing and uh, full use of the piece there. It's great when uh, they use the whole piece and say, but it doesn't happen all the time. But going out of the middle. Oh, that's a lucky one. That's a lucky one. Vashta could have sworn she'd hit then. 
That's why she's testing. A brief view of the uh, Greek coach there, Thanasis Thelenikos. Bashed her with the right of way. Oh, oh Georgia do stepping in on the counter. That's lovely. Stealing a point to level the score. Okay. Try same again, this time counter block. So the variety she's showing with these counters is what's getting her these points. She's not doing the same thing every time. Watch this. Counter block. So the block is there to make mm. sure the attack doesn't land. As you, as you said, Graham, when you're countering, the other person can't hit. The first attack is no this time from the Greek athlete. Yeah, Bashta that time, instead of coming forward, went back, used the distance trap, levels the scores. Yeah, just a, just a, she starts the attack for me, Georgia Do, but she stops. She makes a stop in the action. We might see there. her there, and then that is enough. That, yeah, it, just as simple as that. That one stop, that one pause, gives the right of way the other way. And we go to the break, and Bashta does have a slender lead. But is no way would you say that she was dominant in this match. No, clever fencing from Georgia Do, that's for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, she won at that Grand Prix in Orléans uh, right at the beginning of the season. A silver medal at the Hammermet uh, World Cup in May. So still on cracking form. And uh, no surprise that she's here in the medal matches. But <sighs> past to this season, when she's come out and taken the lead at the break, she's tended to go on and win. Yeah, looks like she means business, that is for sure. Vadim Shtibab in there, applauding his new charge. Ukrainian coach. He has come in and made a massive difference. There's one thing you can say about uh, Georgia Dudo, though, she has bags of fight. Oh, this is, yeah, this is going to be interesting now. So, are you ready for a proper scrap? So, Bashta showing what her intention is right from the off, but just showing signs of uh, a little bit of maintenance required, perhaps on that front leg. On the attack, Bash does this is right of way with her. Georgia do on the back line, and more patient on the attack to avoid. Yeah. She didn't actually avoid the counter. Despina Georgia do threw it out there, but Bash kept the distance, so it missed this time, then she could finish her attack. You watch here, there's the counter, yeah. and then Bash just says, all right. She could have been hit by that counter and it wouldn't have mattered as long as she'd finished the attack. Tries to find the parry and referee said that's enough of a meeting of the blades uh, to call it a riposte. Georgia Do needs to make sure she scores at least two more hits before Bashta does. Yeah, needs to close the gap. Can't let the gap be more than three. <sighs> Bashta is now starting to edge ahead well we've gone to a video review on this one yeah that replay doesn't really give us enough it's a no, beautiful you can't shot tell from up there <laughs> but uh, looking down you can't see well, the you movement can see there's a different camera that films for the referees we get the replay here both stop both go i think that's a good mm. call i think that is together uh, mick well, Koscosa, though he's the expert he's coming back well his options are he can just yeah so his options are to overturn it one way, leave it as it is, or to basically just say, well, it was simultaneous, like abstaining, no hit given. 
Well, that time you can see uh, Bashta just pointing the finger at the referee, acknowledging that uh, the hit was against her. For me, Georgia Du stops again. She starts the action. She has the right of way, but she did what she did in the first period. She stops, and that's enough. Yeah. Well, going to the video again. There's that stop, and that's enough. Georgia, because Georgia Du started and had the right of way, it was hers for the taking. The stop means it automatically switches over to the other side. Uh, well, in fact, when he came back, he didn't even give a decision then because Georgia Du had seen the replay and uh, said, actually, it was on me. That was a bad video call from me. A full start there for... Second one, so gets a, a red card. That's a free point. Should be nine, I think. Yeah, so both got a yellow there. Georgia Du got a yellow and Basta got a second yellow. How did that work? That's not right. Well, if they both start early, they both get yellow, and perhaps Bash to complain and got a second uh, an infringement for mm. making too much of a fuss about. I can't be 100% sure of that. That's Misses one the that we can time. ask the referee later. So, Miklos Kursa called that brilliantly. Uh, Georgia do missed the first action, so Bash to gets the right away. Bash to is looking very strong for a place in the final here. Oh, no, 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 no. Despina Georgia do stepping into the middle and not doing anything at all that time. It didn't even look like she looked for a parry here. Oh, well, she did try, but it was... I think she got caught in two minds. Well, that's the worst thing that you can do in Sabre. Back line. Attack good, though. Yeah. To say if you're new to fencing, it's not who hits first, it's who has the priority. If there are two coloured lights on, the referee has to give it to the fencer that was attacking. And that is that. Anna Bashta hits the accelerator after the break and comes out with a very dominant performance against Despina Georgiadu, who's had a fantastic season. But Bashta is the world number one. She's the European champion, and she's on her way to staking a claim to becoming the world champion. It's going to be a really interesting matchup when uh, we see the final. Bashta against Imura. I, I think that uh, I think it, it is an interesting final, and you know what the, those people that said Imura was uh, the, the the standout favourite. I'm, I'm still not sure, but they were quite right that she was going to make it through to the final. And thumbs up from uh, Anna Bashta there, uh, but uh, I think Bashta is the one that's uh, got to be the favourite now. Hmm. Are we, are we going to do it? Do you, do you, want, do you want to have a... Do you want to have a I hear you're not very good at... Oh, no, you won, didn't you, last night? Your, no, your so 50 let's, uh, Egyptian pound bet. Let's bring in... Uh, let's bring in our foil expert, Richard Cruz. Other foil mm. expert, sorry. Hold on a minute. <laughs> sorry, no. You've got someone else calling foil now, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Richard. Can I just say that I think, Graham, you owe me 50 because I put 100 on the table, you put 50 and you took the whole lot. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that. 50 back, and then we're going to have another bet tonight, I think. That's true. Yeah. That's I, right. I'm going to leave this bromance to That's blossom right. in front of all of you. Uh, I'll, I'll come back for the no, Sabre, shall I? That, yeah, you can come back for the Sabre as we confirm that Bashta is through. Uh, but before you do that, Karen, uh, we, need to, we need your predictions for the final of the women's Sabre. I, I'm, I'm going to go for Bashta. I'm going okay. to go for Bashta with the, the finals there. So, uh, and you? You're, you're no, I think I'm going for. I don't think there's any bet on because I think Bashta as well. Darn it. Sorry. Darn it. Okay. Well, I'll be back a, a, a little bit later on. So, looking forward, uh, Richard, to the uh, to the foil competition. Uh, it's been an interesting uh, day when we uh, when we talk about foil. There's a little bit of a changing of the guard going on. New fences coming in, youngsters. Absolutely, and I think the best example of that is Tommaso Marini. We saw a lot of him in Antalya, the European champs, when he came second to Garozzo. Uh, he's one to keep an eye on. Nick Itkin, uh, I wouldn't say he's a youngster anymore. And of course, you've got Enzo Lefort, who's the reigning champion, but 
that was three years ago, the last World Championships, yeah. if you think about it, yeah. before COVID, back in 2019 in Budapest. Now I'm just having a look at the lineup tonight. These look pretty tight, difficult to call. Could you pick a winner? Oh, now I think um, the interesting one is going to be Chung against Marini. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, they're very, very tight, but I think maybe Marini would have it over Chung. Chung, Chung was almost beaten uh, by Shupanich. So I'd go Marini and 